It's a little after five o'clock in the morning and I'm up and dressed. This is not normally how I operate. We usually don't get up till like eight, eight thirty. Sometimes not even till nine. But today is going to be a super busy day. Um, it's time for my monthly grocery shopping trip and tomorrow is Thanksgiving so there is a lot of stuff I need to cook and get ready for that. Plus today is also library day. So I decided I better get up and get busy this morning. So I'm up and ready. The van is not starting this morning so I suppose I'm going to take Tom's car. I have to get Claudia ready still because she's going to go with me and hopefully we're going to get over, get to Walmart, and um, I also need to go to Joanne the Fabric Store and get that stuff that I need and get back home in time to get the little guys ready to go to the library at 10 o'clock this morning. So um, hopefully all goes well. Yesterday, in preparation for my shopping trip today, I went around and I checked our inventory of everything that we have. Um, I also tidied up the freezer so I could make sure, you know, so I could see what we have in there. Then everything that we needed either went into my shopping cart on Walmart's website or it went onto my shopping list in my phone so that I could go today. I try to get as much stuff as possible in my online shopping cart because it's hard for me to get everything into one cart at Walmart. So if I can get it online, then I just do it that way and we give, you know, there's free shipping on orders of $50 or more. So I just try to get a lot of my stuff that way and then that saves cart space in the real store. Also, last night was Tommy's and my date night. So while we were out, we went ahead and stopped and got a few things that were kind of big and bulky that I couldn't get online, so it would save me some room today for the real shopping trip. So it has been a whole month, other than last night, since I have been um, to Walmart or any place like that to get supplies. Uh, I still go every week to the regular grocery store here in town and get whatever we need for that week, but um, anything that, like toilet paper and, you know, all that kind of stuff that, um, we would need, I haven't, I haven't got any of that stuff for a whole month, so my shopping list is ready, and pretty soon Claudia is going to be ready, and then we're going to load up, and we're going to head out and get that done this morning. Here we go. Are you ready to go, bye-bye? Yeah, are you ready to go? my wrap on at home before we left this morning so that when we got here I could just pop little Claudia into it and we'd be good to go. We got a few things to get here this morning. I didn't even know they were open at six o'clock in the morning but apparently they are. Apparently these come apart. I don't know if that's supposed to happen. I had some of these in my cart at Amazon and I think this is a better price for this. I'm gonna go ahead and get them here. Sun 
sun is up now, but it's a very cloudy day. Apparently there's a big storm coming in. And hopefully we'll get home before anything yucky starts happening. for hauling um, people, but not really good for hauling stuff. And I also think it's gonna be easier unloading it when we get home. Um, I always have fun wearing Claudia when I go to Walmart because you can't be female and not see a sweet baby in a little baby carrier and just feel so happy and I get comments constantly while I'm there. Oh, look at the sweet baby. Now it's almost nine o'clock and it'll take me about 25 minutes to get home. And hopefully I'll have enough time to get all the little guys that are still home dressed and ready and get to the library by 10 o'clock. So we'll see how it goes. Hopefully, hopefully things aren't crazy and they go smooth. I did go ahead and put all the stuff up front here that put all the stuff up front here that needs to go into the freezer or the refrigerator so that that stuff will be fast to find when I get there and I can just get it put away. Well, I'll have the big kids actually probably put it away for me and then we can get busy doing the other stuff. And then after library, we'll finish putting away all the groceries and then get started on uh, getting some Thanksgiving dinner cooked for tomorrow. Are you? Mama. 
Mama. Hi guys. Mama. Where did Oh yeah, I forgot you went to the store. Mom, why are you lying at the store? I got lots of things. Oh, thank you for the hug, buddy boy. Like, did you guys have your muffins? Yes. I did. Solomon, I did. Solomon, you did? Yesterday, Solomon took my other shoe and he hid it somewhere outside or inside. I don't know. Well, you'll have to find it because today is library day. Yeah. How's it going? I Here you go. Some gold sun? Mm -hmm. I tried just Are you going to go to the library today? Um, Is Thomas up? No. <laughs> Come on. Here, let's get your, get your shirt on. Come on. Look at this, Mom. Oh, this feels so weird. Oh, look at this. Oh, God. And this one. Oh, I know where it is. Come on, baby girl. Okay. Um, Asher, would you help Sophia get her boots on? Now? See, I always let them. Eden, come here, sweet girl. And there are no teeth feels good. Really you can go, go with Asher and he'll help you get your boots on. Mom, letting me just jump. Zero year old. Eden, you're stuck over. on your finger. They're not. They're oh, ice. Miss Claudia is in her little pillow prison so she doesn't roll away and the rest of us are gonna go to the library. Oh, bye baby girl, have a good nap. We're gonna go bye bye now. Thank you. 
Solomon. No. Mm -hmm. Dry a little bit. We're making turkeys today. Are you going to make one, Sully? No? You've got to squeeze it as you're doing it so more comes out. Well, the snack basket is full. This is um, about 250 individual snacks here. This will last a month if each kid eats one snack every day. Usually what happens though is we have little people who steal a few extras now and then. And then of course lots of friends that come over and have some too. So hopefully we'll make it to the next shopping trip. But we've run out the last two months before then. Now you can stop being so sad there's no snacks to eat. <laughs> Judah wants to know if I got any three o'clock snacks. And I asked him, what day did I say I was going to get three o'clock snacks? What do you think it was? <laughs> it was Wednesday. You were right about that. What is today? Wednesday. Uh-huh. Oh. Where did I go this morning? Yeah. <laughs> so what do you think is down there? There's a fridge. What did you find down there? This. <laughs> and a bunch more. Those these ones will live. We got some new fish for our fish tank and then we had the furnace off for a couple of days overnight on accident and they all died. It was very sad. So last night Tom and I went and got some new fish when we were on our date and we got a few at Walmart and then we went over to Petco and got a few more but while we were at Petco apparently the ones we got at Walmart got too cold in the car and they all kicked the bucket already so we've got these three from Petco hopefully we'll keep them alive but we're not having a very good track record we just discovered that Thomas has grown enough to do this go for it Check that out. Mom, he's so tall. I am now the third tallest person in the family. Uh, Mom, look, I can't even jump as high as him. You're right. He's a lot bigger than you. When did that happen? I don't know. I'm getting this turkey ready today, and then tomorrow I'll just. Reheat it. Um, yes, sir? That chicken looks like he's, it's so cold that he has bumps on his skin. Yeah. It's a turkey. What's that? Why do we always have turkey on Thanksgiving? Why do we always have turkey on Thanksgiving? That's a great <laughs> question. I think it's because, um, at the first Thanksgiving that the pilgrims had, well, they had lots of meat, actually. They had deer, and they had, I'm sure they had turkey, and probably pheasants, and all sorts of things, but people don't eat turkey very often anymore, so I think it's associated more with Thanksgiving just because it's a special meat that we don't eat that much anymore. How do you think you cook a turkey? Cook it in the oven or... Um, put it in a giant pot and put it on the stove or something. Do you? How do you think you cook a turkey? Peel a turkey and take all its feathers off and put it in the oven and take it out. Would you put anything on it or would you just leave it plain? I, if you put anything on it if you wanted to. Like what? What would you put on it? I think I think that you put it on steak stuff. Like the seasoned salt? Mm -hmm. That would be good, wouldn't it? 
Yeah. I think I that I'd like, like it with chicken seasoning. You put chicken seasoning on it? Sounds good. Mom, I never die, see? I'm ready for my tests. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Hi. <laughs> Do you know how to make a turkey? I get to make a turkey. You, you can't make a turkey? I get to make a guinea turkey. Really? That one's coming down now. Hey Judah, are you there? Yeah. Would you get Sophia in her high chair and open that for her and put a straw in it? <laughs> that bell means the customer came in downstairs. Tom's down there this winter. Today he's home, so he's helping his customer. And I can see in that little camera right there. Is that a blue straw? Who it is? Or a green straw? Which one? Blue one? What did you find? Are you? I, I like to buy snacks. You like it when I buy lots of snacks? Are you so happy we have some now? What happens if I? Uh oh! Don't throw the wrappers on the floor. Is that four or five? <laughs> so what are you doing? I'm making crust for for some little cheesecakes. Um, sure. Well, I, I'll have you just sh twist them apart, okay? okay? You don't need a knife. I'll use the knife. So you just gotta take these, twist them, and then put the halves there for me to scrape, okay? Twist like this. Give me a cookie. I'm gonna turn it. Give me one of cookies. Good job. Let me let you get a cup we can melt this in. Hey, hey. What do you got there? You guys need to go put the gloves in. Hey, wait, wait. No, no, no. Go put the gloves in the garbage. Go put the glove in the garbage. He doesn't understand. Oh, so we don't step in that mess. Wait, okay, I don't want to get my socks all wet or you all wet. Little girl, you don't step in that, okay? With your bare feet, with socks on, or bare feet. Yeah, I can. Okay, Debra's Saturday. That's my thing. Daddy, I'm going to get at the end. You get really good three times in. Yeah, Billy. I don't want to do a small spoon. I want a big spoon.